What's up guys, welcome back to the GTR rebuild series where we're gonna be rebuilding this wrecked R35 GTR. Now, if you guys watched the last video, you guys got to see all of the damage that was done to the GTR. Now, granted, it wasn't that bad and we got super, super lucky with it. This thing has a ton of front end damage. The front bumper was destroyed, the headlight was destroyed, and obviously the oil cooler, but the oil cooler didn't get completely busted. So today to start the rebuild of the GTR, we're gonna be fixing a couple of the damage damages needed so that we can actually start modifying this thing. So we have a ton of aftermarket parts, such as a body kit. You guys saw the performance parts that we have, suspension, all of that good stuff. But before we get into that, there's a couple of things that we have got to get finished so that we can start fitting up our fenders, our front bumper, Etc. And those two things being a new headlight because the bucket got absolutely destroyed as you guys can see. So we're gonna be fixing the headlight as well as the oil cooler down here. And we had a couple of really awesome parts that we're gonna be fixing this up with. Now, the goal for today is obviously to fix those two things so that we can actually start mocking up our aftermarket body kit and doing all of the aftermarket things that we have for the GTR. So with those two things fixed, we should be good to go. So let me show you guys what we got. Okay. To start us out from our parts corner, number one, we got lucky and found a very, very decent 2009 GTR headlight. We got super lucky because most of the ones that you find are actually pretty heavily damaged, missing a bunch of the clips, missing, missing the lens, or don't have any of the wiring down here, like the HID ballast and stuff like that. This one came fully equipped with everything, including the brackets, which was really nice. So we have a new headlight that we're gonna be installing today and also cleaning up a little bit, as well as our good friends over at Fitment Industries helped hook us up with a brand new, Alpha oil cooler from AMX. This is going to be awesome. Much beefier, much more high quality than the OEM one. Check it out. Much beefier and much nicer than the OEM. Real question is, are we gonna be able to get this bracket to fit this? Since it is damaged, I mean, it does look easily bendable to where we can actually get it back to its original shape or close to its original shape. The question is, can we get it good enough to actually hold in the Alpha oil cooler? So that's what we're gonna be working on today. Headlight, oil cooler, and getting it one step closer to being finished. Let's get started. But before we hop into today's video, I wanted to remind you guys that every $1 that you spend on the Legend site is one entry into win this awesome GTR, and, and the finished product is going to be amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to the Legends page down in the description box below. We did just revamp the VIP program as well, and VIP members can get up to 10 times entries. So don't miss out. Get your entries in right now, link below. Okay, well the good news here is the bolt horn stripped. So we got this, you can, get, you can see how messed up this bracket is. We gotta try and bend this thing back or make a custom bracket or something, but the bolts are okay. Now we're gonna try and get the oil cooler off. cooler has been removed. Now, looking at it, I don't know how this thing wasn't leaking, Tim. This thing is destroyed, but it's good because the damage is more on the oil cooler than it is on the actual bracket. I mean, yes, this thing is, but the bracket itself. Oh, there you go. Yeah, just pull on it hard. The bracket itself really isn't. There you go. Uh, fixed. We're just gonna like. We're, we're gonna try and line it up with that, so yeah, it's, then, it's close. And then bending this, this way. We oh, should yeah. be, we should have a usable bracket. It's this guy that I don't really know about. Uh, so. We'll try and get it back. Yeah, we'll figure this guy out, but oil, stock oil cooler versus, look at that. Look at the, look at the juice. That's uh, what the you need. The takes are nice. Yeah. I can't believe you're giving people this when you need it. Like <laughs> It's fine, we'll get one. You guys get the good stuff for your GTR. So we're gonna go ahead and figure out the situation and update you guys on what our plan is with the actual brackets. Cool. 
quick little bracket update. Tim was actually able to bend these out pretty perfectly, I think. I mean, as good as it can be, right? Yeah, it's just like when we put that one on, we'll move it a It'll little hold, bit. It'll hold, yeah. So tentatively. This one didn't get bent. It pretty much hit like this. So it pushed this down. Yeah, the bottom bracket has been bent back and he used a set of crescent wrenches to actually bend where the bolts go in back. So it should, if you hold this, should. Let's put in these guys here. Okay. Boom, okay, so now this should just, these are the bolts for it. Dude, that's pretty insane. It's, it's actually very easy. It, lo it looks like it got a little banged up, but it's a little I mean, bang, but it, it's there to protect it. So. That's sick. It actually worked. <clears throat> so we can just bolt that back on. Yeah, and, and it just, it just freaking fits. It just, it works. Nice. Okay, now we can bolt this guy back on, and we got a freaking oil cooler, man. Look at that, dude. We got a brand new Alpha oil cooler. AMS does include extra gaskets for your oil lines, so you're good there. We're gonna go ahead and start the car and make sure that we don't have anything leaking. We're gonna add a little bit of oil, not too much because we are gonna do a full fluid flush, but just for safety measures, we're gonna make sure this isn't leaking. Dude, that's some, it's that's pretty, pretty black. black. <laughs> she needs an oil change. That is pretty black. We're gonna put it a little bit above that line because you know we have to put fluid into the oil cooler. Yeah, so. yeah. This all just needs a nice detail clean. Tim Bro's gonna give her a start. We're gonna be checking right here and over here to make sure there's no oil leaking out of this. Just to show you guys how much the Alpha oil cooler actually holds inside of it, just in the oil cooler, look at this. Dude. Yeah, I filled it to this line right here, so it, it's almost a quart. That's pretty sick. A lot better cooling. Yes. So if you guys do happen to want to take this thing to the track or just drive it long distances, you got some good cooling. First project of the day is down and honestly, the Alpha oil cooler actually makes a pretty large difference when like you're like looking at it from the front. Uh, that's so sick. That's just one less, one more step to looking less wrecked. Okay, now our mission number two for today is something a little bit less hard because the headlight that the previous owner had was actually like split in half. When they ran over the stop sign, it just crunched this entire area of the front bumper and all the mounting points are still here. The headlight that he had was actually like cut from this right here. So this is actually pretty easy. Now that we have our OEM headlight, this guy essentially will just slide right on in here. It's basically... There it is. Of course we're gonna fix the fender. Yeah, well, so the, the fender is a little bit misaligned, but this is why we need the headlight in, so that when we actually get the aftermarket fender that we're gonna be putting on, the headlight will be in its correct spot already and we know where all of that goes. But if you guys can check this out, all of the mounting positions still work right here, right here, and even- Even this one here on the fender. Even this one here on the fender. Now we do have to figure out this guy back here, but most importantly, once all of these are bolted in, this guy will be mounted and good to go. Then we gotta plug it in and make sure it works. Yes, we have not done that. So <laughs> crossing our fingers that the ballast actually still works in this thing. So. Well, we can actually plug it in and test that before putting it in. We can do that. Should Just do in this? case we need to do- Should we do that now? Yeah, why don't we? Let's do that now. 
Cross your fingers, everybody. Here, why don't you just start the car and go through like the blinkers, the headlights, the Good sprites. Idea. That's a good sign. So that now we can we can put the headlight in and it all works. Nice. Sick, Let's bro. Go. Time to bolt your dude. With, it's with like this thing bolted in. It's not even wrecked anymore. No, we're just gonna leave the front bumper off and everything. No, we got a kit for you guys. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. So let's go ahead, bolt her in, and man, this thing's gonna be ready to rock for the body kit tomorrow. We've officially almost unwrecked this Rec GTR. <laughs> almost unwrecked it. This looks so good. The amount of difference just the freaking headlight and the oil cooler did, it's not even wrecked anymore. That is awesome. And best part is, all of it works. All the parts were correct. All the bolts went in where they needed to go. And the lights work. This is awesome. Mission for today was an absolute success. Now that the headlight and the oil cooler are finished, our project for today is complete. Now we're gonna stop here for today because we're still waiting for our side skirts for the kit to be back from the body shop. And the body shop said they should be done today. So I'm really, hope, I'm really hoping that they give us the call that we can go pick up the side skirts. But if not, I'm just not gonna wait any longer and we'll start on the kit tomorrow, even though we don't have the side skirts and we'll just put them on whenever they come in. But it actually kind of works out as well because you guys have noticed in the background of the past few videos, we've been working on the FKA. You guys are gonna see this make a comeback within the next couple of weeks, but we have a serious time crunch because this thing leaves for grid life next week. We had just put the engine in. Tim Burrow actually welded up his first ever exhaust with a new Miller welding machine that we got. Now, we have to get this thing tuned with the new engine in. We have to get this thing aligned. We have aero coming in, and Tim is currently just now finishing up the exhaust. We have to get those four things done before next week. So um, we're working on both cars simultaneously, trying to get them both done. We just have a lot going on in the shop. So like I said, you're gonna see this entire build within the next couple of weeks so stay tuned for this but i'm pretty stoked for the progress that we made on the gtr today to one of my favorite places dan we got a big project for you have you did you see that has george shown you the picture of the gtr i gotta show you the picture but we're here at dh graphics which coincidentally enough we're actually working on some of our legend stuff this is where we get all of our stickers and banners and all of our wraps really done here but this is also where we get all of our car wraps done and we're looking for the specific color that we're gonna do on the gtr i'm not gonna show you guys what it is just yet but we're gonna look at our choices here and dan has a couple special ones that we're gonna be looking at. Chose a color and it's one of these that I have right here. I'm not gonna tell you guys which one, but it's really, really good. And I think the GTR is gonna come out so sick with this color and the accents and the stuff that we got going on it's gonna be, I think this is gonna be a really, really nice color here. Maybe match the, uh, match the Z. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys soon. It's gonna be sick. Yes, sir. Yeah, anyway. A wrap color picked. We also have a special delivery for Legends. So if you guys ordered a rear windshield banner, you're getting your delivery soon. Go bring these to the warehouse shop and then we can get started. Last stop for the day, quick pit stop at Legends Media HQ. Special delivery. Wow. Look at my new office. Oh, you went and picked up for us? Oh. Okay, well, that was an absolute mission. There is so much stuff happening behind the scenes that you guys just 
don't even see. And I don't know, is it interesting for you guys to see like the back end stuff of like the business side of merchandise and the website? And by now I think everything is live by the time you guys are seeing this clip. We just revamped VIP and added three different tiers. So, and it's just so freaking cool. We now have a Facebook community page for all of you that are VIPs to get like early access and sneak peeks into videos and drops and extra entries into the giveaways. Like it's just, it's so cool. If you guys don't know about it, I'm gonna link the VIP program down below. And I literally could not do any of this without, without the entire team for Legends. I mean, without them, I have no idea what in the hell I would do. So the Legends team is hard at work and just making things consistently better and better every year constantly innovating coming up with new ideas new products and it's just it's so freaking cool and i can't wait to expand but uh anyways all of our errands are done for today we figured out our gtr color got some work done now we can head back home